the bottom. Yes. Point two, bottom point two. Okay, so we know that this is an odd degree polynomial. Just from looking at the function, it's odd degree because it has opposite behaviors, right? Just by looking at the graph, we know that it has to be odd. Um, also, also by looking at the graph, we can tell whether it's positive or negative odd. But main thing is that we notice that it is odd. So opposite behaviors mean that it is odd. This n behavior is positive. So because my n, my final n behavior is positive, I know that it's a positive odd polynomial. Does that make sense? Okay, ringing some bells. I've learned it maybe before. Okay, I know someone who taught it, but cool. Um, so from here, we're gonna label our max and our mins. So for odd functions, you will not have absolutes. Does that make sense? Okay, I will not have any absolutes, so there are no absolutes for odds. No absolute extrema. Okay, that's because if any if for all your y's, they're going to be going on to positive and or negative infinity. Me and the notes are in that red basket. Oh, just didn't know if you wanted to grab them, you know, maybe. Okay, so when we label, we have a max. And this is a max because I increase, then I decrease. And we have a min because I decrease, then I increase. We're only describing relative points, right? So we have a relative max or a local max, however you want to call it, at what? How would I find it? It's not on there. I need to put in the calculator. So we're going to have find our relative min and our relative max and say where they're located at. Yes, in calculus. We're not there yet. <laughs> we're not there yet. No, you fill out the pink paper. And... Hmm? All right, here's Sylvie. And we're going to type in. I have, what is it, x cubed? Minus dose. Oh, you saw nothing. x cubed, I need to move arrow over, minus 2x. So it's still a y value, right? Of the yes, we're looking for the y value. I'm gonna go back to standard. See if I can see it in standard. Can I see it in standard? Why, yes, I can. So I'm looking for that value. So we're gonna go second trace. I guess my calculator wanted to be over there. Um, second trace, and we're gonna find our maximum. I think I clicked on minimum. Um, yeah. So when I got the the graph, it says it says a sine x. Come on, sir. Sine x. Sine x. Come on, sir. Wait for it. Um. No, I'll put I'll put the is that minus or negative? It's a minus two x. Yes. So x cubed minus two x. Did you use a minus or a negative? I think it's a minus. It's positive. It's loading into. Okay, so there's my minimum. I have to come and look at yours. I'm coming around. I can't tell you. I, like, I wish I had the magic power to know exactly where you messed up at. All the way from over there. Yeah. All right, so there's my minimum. And again, we're looking for the minimum value. And value is just the y. And my minimum value is here. Why do I have minimum? Because minimum? I actually typed it in first. Negative 1 and 89 thousandths. And then my max, what did y'all get for max? Um, negative 8, 1, 10, or 0.816. being temperamental. I got positive 1.09 earlier. Yeah, 
Okay, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't tripping. It could be me. You know, it's always possibly me. Wait, it's not We're the value. Yeah. So we have y equals positive, and then y equals in work. Okay, there we go. The other thing I want to point out to this is that this is a, um, a special odd function um, because it goes through the origin. And does anyone remember that's called origin symmetry? Mm -hmm. That's what makes it same. So that means that if I was to rotate this 180 degrees, the image would look the same all the time. Does that make sense? That's that rotational symmetry. All right, so to make sure you can do it, go ahead and do the next one. Find your maximum values, and then we will move on from there. Oh, no problem. Oh, thank you. I got one this year. It's like a teal color, but it looks like a Oh, that's cute. But I really Phipps had one like that. Yes, hers was kind of like a mix between the Yeah, because hers lit and was a typewriter. And... <laughs> All right, are you ready to tell me? Okay, okay. <laughs> my bad, my bad. <laughs> my bad. These killers. I don't know. Did you put the negative? Point five x cubed plus four x plus one. All right, let's see where we're at. Uh, what did we get for our relative min value? I got five. Four or five, five? Five, five. That's round. I thought five, four. You got a round. All right, and then my Y was? There we go. Do we feel confident finding our max and our min using technology? Yes, yes. What's up? So X value is when it's asking you where is your max and min. So if I ask where is your max or min, you would tell me. Yeah. Where is X? Um, X marks the spot. If you write as an ordered pair, um, I mean, I don't know. How, I feel like on the AP test, they will take points. Like at, at x find, equals. I always do the negative follow up at x. So that's fine. That's I wouldn't take points off. No. You just do like at x, y is a I will be fine. As long as you're not writing as an ordered pair. Okay. All right. Now we're on to part two where we're going to talk about concavity. Um, this is really big so that you can finish your set two, right? Um, so we've talked about concavity before. I want to just 